Instead of sitting next to me, though, he went over to a wooden desk and opened a drawer. When he came over to me, he looked circumspect. He handed me a brown paper-wrapped package about the size of a large squat dictionary. I got you something. I was so surprised and touched, not expecting a present from Court Thompson. What did this mean? I took it tentatively, but gratefully. Thank you. He stood before me, looking down. Open it. I did, and found a digital camera. A higher-end model than the usual point-and-shoot. A really thoughtful present. There had been more occasions than I could think of this summer already, when I'd wanted a camera to record the moment. Court, this is so nice, but I can't accept it. It's too much. He shook his head and pushed the camera back to me. Take it. I want you to remember this summer. We'll go take pictures. I'll take you up to Glacier Point, Tuolumne Meadows, Big Oak Flat, Mono Lake. You said you wanted a camera. I did. Now you got one. Was he just trying to buy me so I'd go to bed with him? The thing was, I decided to go to bed with him without it. So why was he even bothering? Seeing the look on my face, he stepped forward. What is it? Don't you like it? It's fantastic and thoughtful. I guess I just think it means that you really do want me to sleep with you. Fuck. More toothpaste I couldn't put back in the tube. Babe. I nodded. There will be little sleeping involved. My eyes widened and my hands shook. I set down the camera on a table, even though I didn't know if he wanted me as his staff pick of the summer or something else. My body didn't care. I was going to turn off my brain and pay attention to my body. Be with him. Even if it was just for now. Maybe this would be the Alpen glow I'd remember in my later years. The warm summer memory, never to be repeated. You good with that? I nodded. I was good with that. I was sick of the friend zone. I wanted the fling. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't trust him. Or anyone. But something in the way he'd already acted made me believe he'd take care of me. Because he already had. He'd already bandaged my blister and taken me safely home from Christie's crazy party, rescued me from dirty meatballs and shown me Yosemite, the most beautiful place I'd ever seen, the one place I'd always wanted to see, and he made it a priority. Was I good with that? Was I good with trusting him, even for tonight? Talk to me. Yes, that's okay, I whispered. Good. He whispered back because I want to spend the rest of the night mapping out every inch of your body. And his plump lips crashed to mine. And this time, he tasted like toasted marshmallows and beard and wood smoke. 